It's time for Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. From BP News, the gas station news source, Darwinian justification for human speech challenged. Speech, one of the capabilities that defines humans, appears to defy evolutionary explanations. So, people have been working for the last 20 years, and science textbooks have been teaching students that two small genetic mutations unique to humans are responsible for human language. Time magazine reported in 2006 these Fox P2 gene mutations may account for may 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 account for the emergence of all aspects of human speech from a baby's first words to a Robin Williams monologue. That is an odd reference. But, oh, I guess it was 2006, so I guess it's okay. Otherwise, too soon. But new genome research published this month in the journal Cell, C-E-L-L, debunks that idea. Oh, again? Here's how we got here. Here's how we speak. Ah, scratch that. Here's how we got here. Here's how we... Ah, let's change that. No, oh, it turns out maybe possibly couldn't. We didn't. Don't have that. Doesn't fit. Rewrite the story. And atheists mock us for writing and reading and be, or rather believing Bible stories. We're the fools? I don't think so. From Elizabeth Atkinson, co-author of the paper, the situation is a lot more complicated than the very clean story that has been making it in, into textbooks all this time. Okay. Then let me help you all out. We speak because God speaks. We communicate because God communicates. We talk because God talks. We're made in his image and likeness, and this is the way he made us. I challenge you again to create a unique sense that does not exist. Go. You've got smelling, touching, tasting, seeing. I'm missing something. Yeah. What would be the uh, touching, tasting? Hearing. Smell, hearing. That's the one. Okay, those are, those are senses. Create one. Go. And it can't involve anything else like, oh, you can now smell color because that's still smelling. All you've done is change the object of the odiferous, od, od, what is the name? Uh, odifer, od, I'd say fact. olfaction, but I, yeah. Is that's it the one I'm looking for right there, the olfaction thing. I don't want to get all medical and highfalutin on you. But try to create something that doesn't involve one of your current senses that God has designed and thought of. You can't do it. Furthermore, let's just say that you could. Let's just say we used to be unable to communicate. Who came up with the idea? How did it get started? And then how did that person keep evolving to develop that when nobody could actually hear it or understand it because... They don't speak to who defined and decided what all of the symbols are. Isn't it funny? You can look high and low and you will not find any sort of communication in written form prior to give or take 5,000 years ago. Hmm. I wonder why that is. 